Good morning, lovely people. <laughs> I know y'all wonder, Crystal, why you got that bonnet on your head? I got the bonnet on my head because it's Good Friday. It's Friday morning. Crystal don't have to go to work. And guess what? I am an empty nester. Yes. Richard and I are empty nesters now. And I've got to reorganize. Yes, the twin is getting ready to get married and her and my charity are in their own place, okay? Well, they're actually in their, their family place. They are where her and her husband and charity's, which is charity's dad, where they're going to live, okay? So they are no longer here. So now I've got to spread my stuff out amongst where I was sharing space, okay? I was sharing space in the refrigerator and I was sharing space in the pantry okay so what we're getting ready to do we're getting ready to organize this train wreck of a pantry over here okay because she had one side and i had the other side so now we are going to organize it and you guys are along for the ride okay first of all this pantry is a jacked up mess okay um it's not organized anymore my system is not working this is where the twin had her stuff so it needs to be organized very badly the bottom of it is just like this is a mess let's see what we can do i'm going to remove everything out of the pantry okay let's take everything out first Okay, so now you can see the pantry is completely empty, but the walls are disgusting, okay? The walls need to be painted <laughs> desperately. This pantry has not been painted since this house was built. So you can see just from you bumping against the wall and stuff, it really needs to be desperately painted, okay? This is a pantry. It's big enough for me to walk around in here but it's not a huge space okay so i'm gonna back out of it so y'all can kind of see it's not a huge space but you know it's enough room for a family so but I, i've got to paint <laughs> the first thing i'm gonna do just to make this easy because i'm not taking these freaking wire racks out we are not doing that bull crap i'm gonna edge just like i'm edging a room i'm gonna edge around these racks then i'm gonna come in with the roller and let's see if that works there is the color i like it it's very creamy i don't have a paint stirrer so i'm gonna use this food a kebab stick stir it 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 I'm gonna stir the paint. I want to get good mixed up. Get all the way to the bottom. Okay guys, let's check in. Now I'm painting, okay? I think it's looking pretty good. As you can see, I'm having to go back with the brush to go around these racks because I did not want to take these racks down. It's taking longer but I feel like it would have taken longer to take these racks down and then try to put them back. You know, I just didn't want to do that. So uh, let's just go on with this process, okay? <laughs> Fun part, I am finished painting, okay? I had to clean the shelves just to, you know, over time, stuff gets on the shelves just from you placing stuff on them. So I did have to do that. I washed out my little plastic containers from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I just washed them out. And I think the room looks pretty good now from the paint. The paint was not very different from, you know, what was already in here. But this time I don't have any marks on my wall. So that's the part that's the best part. Okay, see, no marks. <laughs> let's put the containers in. Okay, let's see what I did. Okay, guys, this is uh, the system. <laughs> this is kind of like the original system that I had before, kind of 
containerizing things. That way I'm not tempted to just sit something on the shelf, okay? So let's start on this side first. This is my bacon item. So everything kind of pertaining to bacon, uh, sugar, Crisco, we've got confectioner sugar. Okay, there is the bacon items. This is the snack container. You know, these are just Dollar Tree tubs. So I've got popcorn and little scoops in there. The next thing is actual like bacon, like cookies and cornbread and cake, those type of things. Then we've got cups for the Keurig. Well, extra cups for the Keurig because I really don't like to have a lot of the boxes because I think it looks messy when you have a bunch of boxes. And then once you put them in the Keurig and you start taking them out the box, you can't really see how many you got left until you go open the box again. So that's why I did it that way. The next shelf, this is my husband's oatmeal. He does uh, instant oatmeal every morning. So I just took them out the box and I have the envelopes in here. The next thing is grits, okay? So I'm not a grit eater, <laughs> I don't like grits, but my husband eats grits, okay? So I've got instant grits, I've got instant grits in a box. This box has not been opened. And then I've got instant grits that was in a bag. So I just put them in a Tupperware container. And then the next thing is, my nails look horrific because I was painting, okay? <laughs> so excuse that. All right, this is my husband's snack container all right this has his snacks in it and there you go he's got some snacks <laughs> we've got some ice cream cones in the corner i don't want to take them out of their box this is extra hand towels for the system that i have in the kitchen now that i showed you guys in the other video and there are just some plastic cups here is like the condiment basket okay catch-ups mayo pickles you know mayo salad dressing barbecue sauce things of that nature then this is more of like cooking condiments like sauces and, and sprays and, and vinegar and honey and things like that <laughs> some more ice cream cones and then on the top shelf we've got my beverage containers for entertaining okay then we've got just my little KitchenAid chopper, one of my little crock pots that you put little melting like cheese and things in, and then my bullet. All right, so the next going around, we've got extra paper towel. We've got cereal. The reason why this is not in a container is because I just haven't put it in the container because I'm trying to get my husband to eat the cereal because I'm not a cereal eater and I threw a lot of cereal out, okay? That just was expired and had not gotten eaten. So this one hasn't been opened. This one is Raisin Bran. What I did, I just put the actual, I got these from Sam's. They were actually several. I think it's like three of these. I think I got three or four of them. So it's Raisin Bran cereal and I just tore the top off of it so we can see the expiration date and what it is and it's still in there. Okay, so in the back, that's from the Dollar Tree. That is cook oatmeal. This is pancake mix. This is flour and this is sugar. These are my Tupperware, old Tupperware. <laughs> the next shelf, we've got like canned stuff. I don't know how this, 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 this uh, jar got there, that ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, just canned stuff, canned items and some tuna for my husband. The next thing we've got is just all my little seasoning packs. Okay, all my little seasoning packs, that's what that is. Next, we got some more canned stuff, which is like soup that I use for cooking, things like that. We're gonna drop down and we've got some open boxes of pasta, lasagna, and spaghetti. Then here we go, we got some more dry goods. So we got rice in a container, the Dollar Tree, noodles, Dollar Tree, unopened box of rice, some more rice that will probably end up here when this is gone. <laughs> we've got my flax seeds for my hair gel. And then we've got some unopened boxes of pasta and some more pasta right here. Okay, so I'm just laying it there. This has just got water bottles, some water. So we have water upstairs, water downstairs, uh, just a taco kit. 
We've got a laid down can of the dry, some unopened box of Keurig hot chocolate, and then just a loaf of bread just laying right there. So that's it, guys. Oh, and I put my little thing back up. I put my little thing back up for my bags. <laughs> So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this uh, organization paint revamp uh, empty nester video has got you guys excited and pumped for your COVID-19 things to do, okay? Go do your pantry. Go paint your pantry. Go organize your pantry, all right? <laughs> I'm gone, guys. Oh, let me show you one more thing. That I have in the clean ones on the counter, I decided to just, here, this is the little Dollar Tree thing. These are Dollar Tree hooks. That's all I did. Put the dirty bag right here. So this is a Ziploc bag. You're gonna wipe your hands. You're going to put the dirty there. And then you got a whole bunch of clean ones. Whole bunch of clean ones. All right, that's it. <laughs> okay, guys, remember, clip to save, and you will be amazed. Bye-bye.